What is up everybody? The Hunter GT with thehuntergt.com. That's right. Go check out the website. What is going on today? The GC2008 from Ricomax. That's right. Another Ricomax product here for review today. Um, you know me. I like to review every type of detector I can get my hands on. And they were kind enough to send this to me. So there it is. The Ricomax GC2008. You want to pick one of these bad boys up? I am not a dealer. I am a dealer for all those detecting companies you see down below. However, this one, you will have to click on the Amazon link down in the video description. I do have a link to it down below. It will take you to Amazon and you can check it out. As of right now, they are $102 on Amazon and only one left in stock. So kind of bad timing for a review video when there's only one left in stock. If you want to pick one up, you might have to get the last one or you might have to wait until they replenish their supply. Detection type, pulse induction, waterproof, 20 meters underwater. On Amazon, it says 100 feet. 20 meters is 65 feet, so I'm guessing it'll go deeper than 20 meters. It says 100 feet on Amazon, so I don't know. I don't know what the, uh, which one is the truth. Search mode, all metal, sensitivity, five centimeters for US quarter, automatic tuning, strong vibration alarm, LED light for dark environment, low battery, automatic turnoff. Power, one 9-volt battery. So this is obviously a, you know, you can tell by the size of the box, this is a handheld unit, like a pinpointer type unit. You have land type pinpointers and you have scuba type pinpointers. And this falls into the later category. You're supposed to use this one underwater, get wet. You know, you're not going to take this to the park or the relic site and wave it around on your hands and knees, of course. So it is meant for going into lakes rivers the ocean stuff like that so without further ado why don't you shut your face the hunter gt let's open this box up and check this gc 2008 out all right we got it all unboxed ready to go here so as you can see it does come with a nine volt battery you unscrew the end cap right here on the back and it pops right in there there's one of the little two prong things with the red and black wire on it um, it does come with a lanyard here. I think you slip your wrist through this part right here, and this just goes over the end here. And it's very, very good Velcro. It's some of the strongest Velcro I've ever felt in my life. I thought it was maybe sewn on. I was like, does this thing even come apart? But it does un-Velcro, and I tell you what, it is some strong Velcro. Comes with some literature right here. Activate your VIP customer service at the link below or you can scan the little code there with your phone comes with an instruction owner's manual right there and then it comes with this I don't know if it's plastic what type of material it feels plastic um, a little drawstring bag to place it in so you know if it's got salt water dripping off of it and you haven't dried it off you go straight to your car it's not dripping all over getting salty stains everywhere nice little plastic bag for carrying it so it's nice and light super lightweight um, not cheap feeling at all um, that's one thing it's it's lightweight but not cheap feeling at all it's not quite as heavy as some of the other detectors that look like this um, you know not gonna drop names or anything like that the Rico max is gonna stand on its own two feet here I love the grip here nice little grippy rubber strips on it and it's like a, it's like a hard foam almost it's not press you can't push it in or anything i i don't know how to explain it with with my words i don't know how to use words um but yeah it's got like these crisscross rubber pieces and then this part inside of the x's there is like a foamy but it's not that hard pressable like on metal detector grips on big boy detectors it, it's nice and foamy. you got a nice little shaft there um plastic shaft that goes down a little led light on the back right there um i wish there was some way to put it on bottom here uh, the little led light that would be cool because it's going to shine back in your face basically so i don't know so i'm going to throw the battery in it and we will turn it on and check it out I and mean, so far so so good it's bright green you're not going to lose it um you definitely have the lanyard so it's, you know it doesn't you don't drop it and it you know floats away in the current or anything like that um but yeah there is the gc 2008 right there it's it's pretty legit i gotta be honest uh it's pretty legit so you just kind of roam it along the uh bottom of the lake the bottom of the river bottom of the ocean like that i think you guys can figure it out so what do you say we turn it on 
give it the old air test. I'm not going to do, you know, nail tests or something like that. I'll check to see if it hits the small gold, uh, stuff like that. But yeah, we're not going to run it through every pace that I put the big boy detectors to, but we'll do some stuff. We'll do some stuff coming up. All right, let's get at it. All right, one thing to explain real quick with the battery putting it in, you see it, it comes with a, one of those little red and black wire leads for the nine volt. You just pop the nine volt into the back here like that and it does stop and it sticks out so don't panic or anything like that because the cap is empty you see on the end there you just pop it on like that and the battery sits inside of the cap so don't freak out when I first went I was like man it's not going in is it broken what's going on and then I looked at the cap and I saw the, all the space in there I was like ah okay you genius hunter GT you're the smartest man alive and then you know it goes right on there so there you go that's just quick battery placement for you guys and of course I think you guys can figure out the velcro strap just goes along there I'm pretty sure you guys can figure that out all right let's go check out let's turn it on and check out some of the features all right we got the batteries in it ready to go I gotta be honest I thought it was broken at first I was not doing it correctly. It is my fault, but I panicked. I was like, oh no, they sent me a broken detector. So it says to flip it upwards, turn it upwards to turn it on, and then hold it upwards for three seconds to turn it off. So I flipped it around like that and nothing. As you can see, it's not vibrating, no lights coming on, anything like that. So I, I put a different battery in, I kept doing this. I mean, I must have done this for five minutes before I figured it out. So anybody watching, you gotta hold it upwards this way. Look at that, right away, the light comes on. You idiot Hunter GT. So there you go, it is turned on, ready to go, vibrate only. You know it's on because the little LED light is on, as you can see, and then if you hold it, now it's turning off. Let's see, there you go. So if you keep holding it up, it's gonna turn off. It has an automatic turn off after one minute, and then, you know, we got some coins right there. You can see the light going off. Now, it is a motion detector. It, it, you must, here, let's put the nickel out over here. It is a motion detector. If you just hold it over the nickel, you see it is not vibrating. The light does not blink. There's no audio report on this detector since it is a underwater detector. But yeah, it... As you can see, you must be moving it, and it picks it up on the coil edge, as you can see. So you, you're going to get a report that lets you know metal's there, and then you're just going to, you know, it's a, it's a small coil. Let's be honest, the coil's not big, so you're just going to scoop up that bit of sand either with your hand or your little scoop. It's not, you know, a massive 8-inch coil or anything like that. So, but yeah, it is a motion pulse induction. Which is kind of odd. I got I wasn't expecting that to be honest. So there you go. And then to turn it off, like I said, you just hold it back up. Three seconds. It's gonna give you a few light flashes. It vibrates twice, and now it is turned off. And as you can see, there's no light, no vibration function. Turn it back on. You just hold it straight up like that, and now we are back up, ready to go. So it's it's pretty easy operation once you figure it out. You know that's it. You just hold it up to turn it off. Hold it up to turn it on. Has a one minute turn off if you're not detecting anything. It does turn off in one minute. So pretty easy to function once you figure out that it's not like that. You know, that does not turn it on. You have to hold it up into vertical, straight up and down like that. So there you go. All right, what do you say we give it a quick air test and call it a video? All right, we're gonna do a little air testing with this. So. As you can see, I got it laid up against the pillow there so it doesn't flop over anything like that. Let's see if it hits a small gold. And it does not. So I didn't really expect it to. Um, other detectors of this type do not hit this small gold. Um, so that's okay. So I got a 8K ring, not even 10K. An 8K ring definitely hits that. Remember, it is a motion detector. So we are going to see how far we're getting it at 2 inches. About two and a half inches. Two and a half inches or so on the 8K ring. Let's go with a clad dime here. I'm doing 
doing it slowly so that uh, I can get right on. So about two inches, maybe two and a quarter, and eh, two inches. Two inches on a clad dime. Let's try a nickel here. And the nickel is going out to about two and a half. About two and a half inches there on the nickel. Here is a quarter. Quarter's about two and a quarter, it looks like. So about two and a quarter on the nickel. Big old half dollar, something like that you might find. Who knows? It looks like it likes that at about two and a half. And then this old 1840s French centime right here. Sometimes this thing really bangs out further than anything else. And in this case, it does. You're getting three inches on this one. Three and a quarter. We're getting three and a quarter on that big old French centime. So. Yep, yep. So there you go. So it does ramp up. It likes the nickel. Definitely likes the gold range. You know, the nickel and the gold ring were better than the dime and the quarter both. Let's check that gold ring again. Yeah, so it's about the same as the quarter of two and a quarter. So the gold ring's doing something the same as this big old fat quarter. It definitely likes mid-range conductors the most. Um, you know, it definitely likes the likes the uh, bronze centime brass something like that. I don't it's not copper I don't think I don't think this is a copper coin I think it's like brass or bronze I don't know the difference for brass and bronze somebody fill me in in the comments um, but it likes it more than this silver half dollar for sure and it does not hit the uh, small gold but that's okay it's a 0 0.3 gram picker you know I don't think you're going to use this for gold prospecting that's not the purpose it's for you know finding stuff let's go ahead and turn it off hold it up get the three flashes vibrates twice and it is now off so it's very well built i gotta be honest it feels good in the hand um like i said there's no creaks listen i mean i can shake it around it's not creaking rattling anything like that the grip is really good um you know it's thick plastic it doesn't feel cheap you know a lot of a lot of detectors I'm not going to say Rico Mac, you know, I'm not, I don't want to belittle them by saying an off brand, but you know, it's, it's, it's a brand that's just kind of up and coming. They've been in business for like five years compared to some of the companies that have been around for decades. You know, it, it feels good. It, it doesn't feel like a cheap toy or anything like that. Performance is, it's pretty decent. I'm going to say decent. It's not great performance. You know, we're getting about two inches on stuff but if you're just skimming along the bottom of, of a river or something like that and you got a little scoop that's all you're gonna need you know when, when you're at the bottom of a of the ocean and a river trust me you don't want you're not trying to scoop up eight inches of stuff underneath the water or anything like that um, like those big scoops you're probably gonna have a little hand scoop of some sort attached to a lanyard on your hip or something like that so I in my personal opinion I think the the depth is okay at just two two and a quarter three inches on the same time you know two to three inches basically is what you're looking at um, three inches in a very good scenario on a larger target but mostly two two and a half inches on the other stuff so I think that's okay in my personal opinion that's okay when I'm on when I'm scuba diving or snorkeling or something and I go down and I'm just checking the bottom I'm not trying to scoop up you know I'm not trying to reach down and you know get get hell wet or anything like that so to speak so yeah but there it is the GC 2008 from Ricomax $102 on Amazon link down in the video description below I hope you enjoy this video the Hunter GT sending off I will see you on the next video